Hey there, it's Ben from CloudU again. One thing I've noticed about the technology industry is that we're so obsessed with acronyms. PHP, SQL, SMTP, VoIP, IMAP, RFID, Squid, Harpsichord. Mm, I'm not sure if those ones are actually real, but we're all about acronyms. So today I'm going to help shed some light on the most popular cloud computing acronyms and talk about the three asses of cloud computing. That's as a service. There's software as a service, platform as a service, and infrastructure as a service. These as-a-service categories, sometimes called the cloud computing stack, are quite a useful way of thinking about what the cloud can do for your business. Let's start with the most common, software as a service, or SaaS. Do you remember when a, a cup of soup cost a nickel? Well, I don't either, because we don't have nickels in New Zealand. But I do remember when I last left my laptop in the back of a taxi, and it was a disaster. Sensitive documents, customer data, all gone. It's a real headache for IT, trying to restore everything from a backup. That's if a backup even existed. Even if you didn't lose your laptop, IT had its hands full with patches, updates, installs, and all the server and software maintenance. SAS changes all this. Instead of IT, or even the business owner, having to manage email, accounting software, file storage, collaboration, customer relationship management data, these applications are supplied, as a service, from a vendor who is responsible for all the hard stuff. Save a document to a SAS file storage solution, and it's there when you log in, always, even if you lose your computer, even if you're traveling. Most importantly, SAS, like the cloud generally, lets you focus on your core business, not on managing technology. And what if your business is software development? Then you're going to want to think about platform as a service, or PaaS. PaaS is a special kind of software and hardware service that allows developers to code, deploy, and scale their applications. If you're a developer using a PaaS, you don't have to think, hmm, but what if my application gets really popular? Will I be able to handle a million users? PaaS lets developers sweat about their code and forget about their servers. For developers and others who like the idea of the cloud's flexibility and scalability, but want more control over their technology, there is another option, infrastructure as a service. If platform as a service is a cake box mix where you just add eggs, infrastructure as a service is cocoa, eggs, butter, flour and sugar, all the different things that you can mix together in a million different ways to make brownies or chocolate mousse or whatever else you like. Technology-wise, with infrastructure as a service, instead of you building your own data centre to manage servers and software to run your application, infrastructure vendors take care of much of the routine work like data centre security, hardware failures and even patches and updates to operating systems. So all the building blocks are there, it's just up to you how you use them. So if you want to learn more about the cloud computing stack, visit CloudU, our totally free, comprehensive cloud computing curriculum where you can earn a certificate in cloud computing. Till next time, cheers.